All right, uh, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to use the online battles feature of Medieval 2 Engine Overall Project. Uh, basically allows you to imagine you're playing a hot seat campaign, um, one army attacks the other, you and your friend for example. Uh, normally without the Engine Overall Project you would just have to auto resolve that battle because the way Medieval 2 works is you can't play um, the battles online. But if we go through these simple steps, we can transfer that, we can generate that battle, um, transfer it to online, play the battle online, and transfer the results back to the campaign map. All right, so the first step is that we're going to download the project itself. So um, there'll be a link in the description to the Discord. You can join the Discord. And if you go over here to the testing channel, uh, there's some links here for the latest version. So I've gone and downloaded this one from Google Drive here. Um, and we're just going to grab this, which we have here. And what we want to do is we want to go to our Medieval 2 folder. So for me, it's here. Um, then we're going to go to our Mods folder. We're going to go to the mod that we want to um, install the overhaul, Engine Overhaul project to. So in this example, we're just going to use uh, Divide and Conquer. This is just a normal vanilla divide and conquer um, installation that doesn't include engine overall project. Um, so we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna grab all these files that I've just downloaded and I'm just gonna drop them in here. Now it's gonna ask me to replace because I've already installed these files, that's fine. And we're done. The next step, uh, pretty simple as well, we're just going to make sure that all our settings and everything is configured correctly. So to start up the engine overall project, we're going to go and open this up here. And just to launch, so silence this music for now. Um, so yeah, we've got some settings here. Uh, first of all, we've got two options here. You can either provide the config file that your mod uses, uh, or you can use the standard config, which is located here, Medieval 2 dot preference but we don't want to use that one because our mod is going to have some maybe special settings for hot seat or whatever so in this case uh, the config file is tatw.config which you can see here and um, so of course we want to use the overall engine engine overall project um, and in hot seat here you're going to want to tick these two options uh, this is going to manage the automatic generation of the battle uh, which we can then play out online. And then once we've done that battle, the results of that battle will automatically be generated so that we can transfer them back into the campaign. So once you've done all that, you can just hit save and you can run the mod. And your mod should start up. And in the bottom right here, we can see that uh, the engine overhaul project has initialized successfully and we know that everything is working as it should. All right, so uh, imagine you're attacking a settlement that your friend owns. Um, we're gonna go in and we're gonna click assault. So uh, Windows going to pop up here. Right now we're not really concerned with this because this is to do with transferring the results of our online battle back to the campaign map, but we haven't done that yet. Um, so for the time being we're just going to close this and we need to do a save game. Probably just doggled or test one. We can save this, close this again, close this again. <coughs> and we can start the battle. So now what's going to happen is uh, the EOP or the engine overall project is going to look at the two armies, look at the terrain, look at the settlement, if there is a settlement, look at the generals, and it's going to start the battle generation and it's going to finish it. Um, so that's done automatically, that's all we need to do. And all we need to do now is exit. Ignore this. So that's it. Simple. Generated the battle. Okay, so we've generated our battle. 
Uh, now we want to either play it in historical battle or play it in multiplayer. So if we go in single player and we go into historical battle, we can see here, okay, where's our battle? It's not here. So to get our battle, we need to go back to our mods folder, go into EOP battles, go to last battle, and you can see here we have our last battle, which is summer, turn two, and we're playing Poland, which corresponds to Dolgodur in files. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna grab that file, folder rather, and throw it into here. So we're gonna go to data, world, maps, battle, custom, and paste it in. Now, if we go back here and we go to, sorry, we go to historical battle, you can see we've got our file here, or a battle here with Dolgodur versus Anduin Vale. And if we go to multiplayer and we do a LAN, or let's say it, let's not do a LAN battle, whoops. Let's do an online battle. Let's host a game. If we go to scenarios, do test. We can see here we've got our battle. So if you're playing online, this is how you do it. But for this example, I'm just going to um, do the historical battle. Now, one important thing to note, if you are going to do the hot seat, or if you're going to do the online battle, um, you should make sure that the person you're playing with also has this scenario, it's called. Uh, so if I was, what I would do is I would just right click this, zip it up, send that to your friend on Discord or whatever chat you use, um, and just make sure that they also have it in the same location. All right, so let's try out the battle now. We're just gonna select the battles, select next. Uh, you can see here that no units are displayed, but don't worry about this. When we actually get into the battle, um, they'll be there. So I'm gonna play as Dol Guldur, and I click start. So now when this loads up, we'll have um, our battle uh, with uh, all the correct generals, the correct settlement, um, all the correct units. So you can see here we've got the Rosgabel custom battle map. And uh, you can ignore these messages. This is just generating the battle again, but we don't we don't worry about that for now. Um, we've already generated the battle. So I'm just going to put this on AI control and speed this up. And we will come back to it in a minute. Okay. So the battle is over. We can see the uh, results of the battle have been generated correctly. And we can see the results of the battle. So we're just gonna click continue. We can go back and we're gonna load up the save game that we had just before the battle. All right, so we've loaded up our save game and we're presented with this screen again. Uh, so it's asking us to select the winner, whether the attacker or the defender was the winner or the battle was a draw. So in this instance, we're the attackers. Your forces attack an army from the Anduin of Vale. Uh, but the winner was actually the defender, which was the Anduin of the Vale because we lost this battle. So we're gonna select Defender in this instance. We're gonna select our results file and it's bringing us to our Medieval 2. So we need to go to Mods. We need to go to our Mod folder. We need to go to EOP Battles. We need to go to Last Battle Results. And we've got a JSON file here that contains all the information about the results of the battle. So we're just gonna click Open. We're gonna transfer the results now. And we can see that, uh, yeah, yes, indeed, it was a clear result for, or a clear defeat for us. 
Um, now what's important is don't worry about what's on this screen. Uh, this isn't going to accurately convey what actually happened because obviously we killed more than 61 troops. Um, and it shows here that Camus is alive, but when we actually click continue, uh, sure, let's, no, we don't want to risk it like that. You can see that Camus is actually dead. And these were our actual remaining units. We can see that in Rosgabel, they actually took damage from our battle. And yeah, that's it. So that's all I really wanted to show today. Um, but if you are interested in um, reading about the project or you want to have a look at the source code or you just want to chat or say thank you to the author, then uh, you can come and check out the Discord, which I'll leave a link to in the description. Or you can um, check out the GitHub pages, uh, which I will also link in the description. Um, yeah. That's everything I want to talk about. If you have any questions, come and ask them in the Discord and someone will help you out. Thanks.